one of your limitations, one of your problems, one of your nonsense that people suffer around you, one of those things should go. You can't leave all of it wholesale, at least one. Shall we? Because without transformation, empty spirituality, talking spirituality, acting spiritual is no good. Some transformation must happen, isn't it? Please make that happen so that uh, when you live, people will enjoy living with you. When you die, they'll miss you. That's how you should live. <laughs> On a certain day, Shankar and Pillai's wife <laughs> was particularly incensed about her husband. So she made a soup and put five extra spoons of chili. And she came and served it, it was hot, steaming hot. And she wants to see what happens <laughs> She wrung her hands but he's reading the newspaper, she said, the soup is ready, she said, the soup is ready, she said, the soup is ready. I said, mm hmm, mm hmm, and uh, still reading the newspaper. Then she wanted to see whether it really work or if the chili powder is adulterated, not strong enough. So she thought, uh, let her check it up and took a spoonful and just put it. It just exploded in her mouth. Tears welled up, tears started flowing. Just at that moment, Shankaran Pillai kept his newspaper down and came. He looked at her and said, why are you crying? <laughs> she said, you know, just last year my mother died <laughs> and how much she loved this soup. When I just saw this soup bowl, it reminded me of my mother and tears came. Oh, is that so? Don't worry, it's, you know, what to do? We all lose our mothers and fathers sometime. It's all right and uh, Shankaran Pillai went back to his newspaper with the soup and reading the newspaper, he put it in his mouth, it went boom like a dynamite because <laughs> this was a full spoonful. <laughs> Tears came into his eyes. <laughs> then she came and said, oh, you're also emotional about my mother. He said, no, no, I am not crying because your mother died. I am crying because that good mother left and she left you here and went <laughs> This is not the way to live. <laughs> when you live, people should enjoy your presence. When you die, they should miss you. If the reverse happens, that means we've lived the wrong way. Isn't it? <laughs>